The DSLR I'm about to talk about, I've gotten some awesome photos with. This is the Canon EOS Rebel T7. This is an amazing DSLR for deep sky astrophotography as well as maybe some planetary astrophotography around opposition. So first of all, this DSLR is only $450. This is basically when you first get it, just the DSLR itself, not with the telephoto lens, just the DSLR itself, just the regular kit. Not coming with the full kit like a telephoto lens and stuff like that, just the regular kit for $450. So here are the specs about this DSLR and why it's so great. First of all, you have a 6,000 by 4,000 resolution. Awesome for taking high quality sharp photos of the deep space objects. I have been looking to see what pixel size this DSLR is as well, and just to make it easier for you, it's 3.72 by 3.72, just in case you want to enter it in like um, the astronomy tools or something like that website. That way you can actually see your field of view when you're trying to look through it in that website. I have taken images with this DSLR for a while now, like the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, the Horsehead Nebula, you know, all sorts of stuff. So what if you wanted to mod your DSLR? Well, it's actually really easy on the Canon T7 compared to other DSLRs. Um, really, really easy. Um, so I actually modded this one myself. Um, just be careful of the sensor when you're taking it apart not to break anything, except for the glass. The glass might be okay to break depending on if that's what you're taking out. But if you're not taking the glass out, be sure to be careful of the sensor specifically. What I also like about this DSLR is it's very easy to use. Very easy to use. The menus are awesome, very quick and easy really quick and cool. Just a great experience in terms of easy astrophotography. It also supports an intervalometer. As you can see right here, this little intervalometer support. Makes it so much easier just to take photos all night without having to press the shutter button a million times. Who wants to do that? Now in terms of the cons, there ain't many cons of this DSLR except for the noise and of course, it doesn't have a flip out screen, which kind of sucks. The noise, the noise is pretty bad. So I've realized that the noise is actually, there's a lot of grain in this camera, especially when using it in low light, so there's a ton of grain, um, especially when you mod it. I've noticed when I modded the camera, there's been more grain, more pickup, but more grain, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, other than that, it's an awesome camera. This is a great camera for just beginning astrophotography. It is very compatible with all types of lenses. It's compatible, like for example, the Rokinon 135mm f2, the Rokinon 14mm f2.8. It's compatible with almost all types of telescopes, um, as, as long as you have a T-ring. So here's a T-ring, you just place it on here like this, and then you plug it into a telescope. With this, it's like the eyepiece plug. Is it worth it for a beginner? I think if you're low on a budget and you want some great specs, you want some great features, you want easy to use, you want compatibility and all that kind of stuff, I'd recommend going for this DSLR. If you're looking more for like top notch quality and your budget is higher and you're a beginner, then maybe go for a different DSLR. All right guys, and that's pretty much it for today. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Are you considering purchasing this DSLR? Let me know down in the comments below and why. All right, until next time, clear skies.